serving fans throughout the Midwest and even more around the world. This is the Show Me Sports Network. The following is an exclusive broadcast property presentation of the Show Me Sports Network and is a high-fidelity, all-digital broadcast. This broadcast is copyright by the Show Me Sports Network for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast without the Show Me Sports Network's written consent is prohibited. Four on their season. As uh, New confines this year, just down on the other side of town, instead of playing over at the former location, they are now here at Rockbridge. As last several seasons, team played somewhere else. So, also under first year head coach and Clint Polson coming in, in the uh, Stars sitting at an 0 5 record, taking on the Southwest Baptist University Bearcats who are two and four on the season. Sitting at 41 degrees here this afternoon. Feels like 35, slight breeze, but it is a little bit chilly, particularly if you get out of the sunshine. It is just a little bit cold, but we are glad that you're letting us entertain you here this afternoon. We've got game one and two. Both of these games we will get on the air as we go along here. That's Blake Asway again with you. We're going to take a quick break. And be right back. Get your starting lineups here on exclusive home of Stars Softball with Show Me Sports Network. We are entrepreneurs, doctors, vets, and storytellers. We're business leaders, educators, and performers. We are scientists, nurses, and trendsetters. We break the mold and get it done. We are visionary, world-changing magic makers. We are Stephen Spalling. Be yourself. Be good at it. For more information, visit stevens.edu. Running out of some of your favorite Avon products and haven't seen an Avon brochure in quite some time? No need to worry. Avon Independent Sales Representative Michelle Carty can help with your skin so soft, makeup, jewelry, fragrance, and skin care needs. Avon now carries cleaning supplies, clothing, daily essentials, and several small LG electronic items. You now have the opportunity to shop online 24-7 and have your order shipped directly to your front door by shopping with Michelle at mcarty.avonrepresentative.com. Dot com or find her on Facebook by searching Avon Carty. National Anthem finished up here at Rockbridge High School softball field. Time now to take a look at the starting lineups. It is being brought to you by Sonic Gasway, Mary Kay Independent Beauty Consultant. Looking to express your unique style? How about healthier, clear skin? Look no further than Mary Kay. For more than 60 years, Mary Kay has been offering a wide range of high-quality makeup and skincare products that empower you to shine and stand out in any setting. From luscious lipsticks to vibrant eyeshadows, flawless foundations to glowing highlights, moisturizing serum to blemish and acne regimen, Mary Kay's got you covered. If you don't have a Mary Kay beauty consultant, then I've got you covered. To get your best skin, call me, Cassandra Gasway, today at 417 6 or visit online at marykay.com slash Cassandra Gasway. Taking a look at the starting lineups here brought to you by Cassandra Gasway, Mary Kay Independent Beauty Consultant for the Southwest Baptist University Bearcats. Been sitting at two and four on the season. They will start in right field, batting leadoff in Kate McConville. At second base, batting second, Margo Frossard, a designated player, batting third will be Emma Vincent. Third base, batting fourth will be Chloe Sams. At first base, batting fifth, Alyssa Reed. Left fielder, batting sixth, Lexi Detweiler. Shortstop, batting seventh will be Haley Seitz. Catching, batting eighth is Maddie Romines. Center field, batting ninth is Riley Lunn. And the pitcher and flex player is Paige Lethead. For the Stevens Stars, who sit at 0-5, they will start in leadoff position. At first base, Annabelle Throckmorton. In left field, batting second, Lindsey Hood. At right field, batting third will be Jillian Hale. Batting fourth at third base will be Ivy Smart. Catching batting fifth is Emma Wood. Batting sixth in center field is Avery Throckmorton. Batting seventh at second base is Elise Kendrick. Shortstop batting eighth is Mariah Thibodeau. And pitching and batting ninth will be Grace Taff. As she draws the start for the Stars as... Taff 
has an 0-3 record. She's appeared in three games. She started those three games. She's pitched 10 innings, given up 17 hits, four runs along the way. Had eight strikeouts, six walks. Given up one home run. And she makes her start here today in game one of two. I said, Blake Jasway here with you. We're glad you're letting us entertain you here this afternoon with Stevens Stars softball. Say it's a balmy 41 degrees here at Rockbridge High School. Maybe if I think warmly, it'll appear like, feel like it's warmer than it actually is. Then starting lineups brought to you today by Cassandra Gasaway, Mary Kay Independent Beauty Consultant. As we are just about ready to get things underway. As Taff getting the start here tonight behind home plate is Wood. Brock Morton, that's Annabelle at first. Kendrick at second. At third is Smart. Shortstop is Thibodeau. And left to right is Hood. Brock Morton, that's Avery. And Hale in right field stepping in will be McConville. First pitch is going to be low and outside. Ball one. Kate McConville, a senior from Raymore, Missouri. That pitch, that one in there, strike one. So that'll even the count at one ball, one strike. And Taft looks back in. She'll get the sign. Next offering. That one on the outside part of the plate called strike two. Taff, a 5-2 senior from Bellevue, Iowa. And Marquette Catholic High School by way of Marquette Catholic High School. She's a returning star here for this season. There's going to be a balancing ball taken at third. It'll be glove there, throw to first in time for out number one. It goes as a 5-3 put out. For out number one, now this will be second baseman. Margot Frossard stepping in. Frossard, a junior from right here in Columbia. First offering from Taff. That one just missed a little bit. Ball one. Next delivery, that one. On the outside part of the plate for called strike one. So that'll even the count. One ball, one strike. So one ball, one strike count. That one misses inside ball two. So count goes two balls and one strike. We play here in the. Top of the first, that one missed just a bit outside. So count will go three balls and one strike. Nice delivery to Frossard. That one in there called strike two, just count strike zone. Now we're full three balls, two strikes. So three balls, two strikes, and one out here in the top of the first scoreless ball game. That pitch outside, so that will be a one-out walk issued. So now this will be Emma Vincent, the designated player. She's a junior from Nixon, Missouri. Pause there as we have some action down. You can't see through the fence here for stars, but get a warning for not wearing a catcher's mask. That pitch in there called strike one to Vincent. So Vincent will be down in the count at 0-1. And, and one on, one out here as we play in the top of the first. Neither team has scored. This is the home opener for the stars. Runner's going to take second hit and run was on. That one fouled off the net, so... Crossard will have to go back to first base. That will put Vincent down in an 0-2 count. I'm 
called here. So no balls, two strikes. Again, 41 degrees here at first pitch time, but feels like 35. There's going to be a ball fouled off the net. So I will keep it. So no balls and two strikes. Working on getting a runner's going to take first again, hit and run on again. That one slides foul on the first base side. We're going to get a mount for the iPad here that will let us have a little different setup that mainly will pull the netting back and out of the way. So every time there's a ball fouled off, you don't have to see the net as much or possibly at all. And hopefully it will protect our iPad. 0-2 delivery. That one's going to be inside. Runner stays at first base. So count will go one ball and two strikes. Sam's in the on-deck circle for the Bearcats. So one ball, two strike count. Again, one out on the board. Top of the first runner's going to take second. As throw down there, not in time. As pops out of the glove. Now Thibodeau, but not far enough. For Frothard to advance. So count will go even at two balls, two strikes. Again, runner at second base now. One out on the board. Again, Stars looking for their first win of the season. They sit at 0-5. For the Bearcats, they sit at 2-4 and four on their seasons. Taft looks back in. That pitch, that one's going to bounce across home plate, hit everybody on the way by. So now we're full of three balls, two strikes. Frossard will go to third base. On that wild pitch. So Vincent digs back in, payoff pitch is low for ball four. So back-to-back -back walks issued. I also have runners at first and third. Third baseman Chloe Sams steps in. Sams a senior from Owasso, Oklahoma. And Vincent will take second. So we'll see if they hold this true. One out on the board here. Head coach for the Stars, Ted Bolson, comes out to talk to the back umpire. So it'll be runners on second and third now after all of that. Stepping in is Sams. Taft looks in first offering. That one is going to be in and hitter. So Sams will be hit by pitch. So now it'll be bases loaded with one out here. Stepping in, this is first baseman Alyssa Reed. She's a senior. She hails from Farmington, Arkansas. First offering to her with the bases loaded in their strike one. So Taff has to work out of a jam here. She's got the bases loaded with one out. Top of the first inning we play. Offering that ball is going to be hit hard and high, but foul. It'll be over way out of play on the first base side. So Reed will be down in the count at 0 and 2. So no hits yet for the Bearcats. That pitch, that one will be low and inside. So I'm having three base runners with our first four batters of the game. 5-3 put out, then a walk, a walk, and a hit by pitch. 
delivery. That one missed the strike zone just by a bit. So now we're even at two balls and two strikes. So Reed will step back in the batter's box, right-handed batter. There's going to be a ball lifted. That'll be caught at third. Nowhere to go, so everybody stayed home. But Smart able to grab that for out number two. So now this will be left fielder and Lexi Detweiler. Detweiler, a junior from Fair Oaks, California. First pitch caught the outside part of the plate, strike one. So Taff is one out away here from working out of the bases loaded jam she found herself in. Broussard at third, Vincent at second, Sam's at first. That one a little low and outside. That'll leave in the count at one ball, one strike. Next pitch, that one inside. That'll get past the catcher. It's coming home and scoring the first run as everybody advances around the base path. And Wood unable to get over in front of that. First run comes by way of a wild pitch. Next delivery, that one way outside, couldn't get her to chase it. So that'll take the count, three balls, one strike, and two outs. Two runners on, SBU leads one to nothing. There's going to be a bouncy ball foul on the second base side. So now we're full. And three balls and two strikes. So Detweiler will step back in. There's going to be a ball that's foul on the first base side. That would have scored both runs had it been fair. So count will stay full at three balls and two strikes. So two outs, full count. That Weiler steps back in. Path will look down with the sign from Wood. Next delivery. That one is going to be inside, coming home. Tag at the plate. They say she's out. As coming home was Vincent. She is caught at home for out number three. So in the inning, one run does put SBU ahead. I want to nothing score. We're going to take a quick break and be right back as you're tuned in to exclusive broadcast coverage of Stephen Starr's softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer. You're a parent. You're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit vocojo.com. The Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. Buffs RV is your locally owned and operated RV dealership in Festus, Missouri. We've been in business since 1972, with several of our employees having over 30 years experience each in the industry. We strive to put customer satisfaction first and foremost. Buffs RV has a well-stocked parts inventory with our main focus on our service department. Call us at 636-937-9183 or stop by and see us at 2085 US 67 in Festus. Whether you need advice, parts, or service, and everything in between, Buffs RV, where your adventure awaits. SBU able to put up one run there in the top of the first inning. Now the Stars look to do their damage as they'll lead off with Annabelle Brockport, the first baseman for the Stars. She's a 5'8 senior from here at Columbia. She played high school at Hickman High School. So just down the road, the other direction, we've had Battle, Rockbridge, and now Hickman represented here. So Throckmorton will step in. 
Lead head looks in. First pitch, a save. Going around strike one. Lead head a senior from Rogersville, Missouri. Next delivery, there's going to be a bouncing ball played at short. She'll glove. Throw to first. They say not in time. Throckmorton legs out an infield single. She's got things started here for the Stars as she stands on first base. That's the first hit of the ball game. As now this will be left fielder in Lindsey Hood. Hood, a 5'5 senior from Mount Vernon, Missouri, by way of Mount Vernon High School. Her and Throckmorton both returning stars. This squad very deep in returners. So first pitch to her, a little upstairs, a little outside, ball one. Hood will be ahead in the count. At 1-0, and oh, Ben Throckmorton standing on first base for the Stars. Left-handed batter, both of these Stars are. There's going to be a ball fouled off, so that will even the count at one ball, one strike. So 1-1 one and one the count. Again, nobody out runner at first. Stars trail 1 to nothing, but have the first hit of the day. Pitch. She'll show bunt. She'll lay it down right in front of home plate. They'll glove. Throw to first. They say safe. As she legs it out, does Hood. She gets a bunt single. So now runners at first and second for the Stars. This will be right fielder and Jillian Hale stepping in. She is a 5 4 senior. From South Africa by way of Sutherland High School. I meant I, I keep saying that the last few years I'm gonna look up how to pronounce Centurion. How to pronounce her hometown, but I failed to do so. First pitch way outside and upstairs, ball one. I'll just say from South Africa rather than butcher that. Gauting, Gauting. Probably neither of those. So one ball, no strike count. Hale digs in. That pitch, strike one. So she'll be even at the count of one ball, one strike. So again, Throckmorton stands at second base. Hood at first. Hale in the right-handed batter's box as she steps back in. She'll show bunt. She'll lay it down. First baseman crashing in. She'll glove throw to first to get the out there. However, it does advance the runners. So now this will be third baseman Ivy Smart. Smart, a 5'10 senior from Pittsburgh, Illinois, by way of Marion High School stepping in. Runners at second and third. First pitch in there, strike one to Smart, so she'll be down in the count 0-1. Catcher Emma Wood in the on-deck circle. Hart will open up the stance a bit. She's down in the count 0-1. Next offering on its way. There's going to be a bouncing ball. Third baseman will glove. She works to her left. Throw to first in time, but the run scores as we're tied at one apiece. As Smart drives in. First run of the game for the Stars. Now this will be catcher Emma Wood. She's a 5'3 sophomore from O'Fallon, Missouri. Played at Fort Zumwalt North High School. We're tied at one apiece. First pitch to Wood is low ball one. That one in there, strike one. So count evens at one ball, one strike. Pitch. That one will be low, ball two. Nice job of the catcher to block that. There's going to be a bouncing ball. It'll be glove, throw to first. 
in time. That goes a 5-3 put out to end the inning. However, the Stars able to get one run on two hits. No errors. They left one on the base path. We will go to the second inning, tied up at one apiece. You're tuned in to exclusive broadcast coverage of Stephen Star Softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Seeking to express your unique style? How about healthier, clearer skin? Look no further than Mary Kay. For more than 60 years, Mary Kay has been offering a wide range of high-quality makeup and skincare products that empower you to shine and stand out in any setting. From luscious lipsticks to vibrant eyeshadows, flawless foundations to glowing highlights, moisturizing serum to blemish and acne regimen, Mary Kay's got you covered. If you don't have a Mary Kay beauty consultant, then I've got you covered. To get your best skin, call me, Cassandra Gasway, today at 417. 4 684 or visit online at marykay.com slash Cassandra Gasway. Since 1951, Wren's Automotive has been the leader in complete automotive and tire services. Proudly serving the Ashland community and southern Boone County area. Servicing all makes and models of vehicles, customer satisfaction is their top priority. If your vehicle leaves you stranded, no need to worry, as Wren's Automotive offers 24-hour towing services. To schedule an appointment, call 573-657-4614 or stop by and see Terry, Peggy, Derek, and the crew at 124 East Broadway in Ashland. Wren's Automotive, your full-service automotive repair shop for over 70 years. We go to the top of the second inning. Tied up at one apiece. It'll be batters 7, 8, and 9 to up. This is shortstop Ailey Sykes. First offering from tap. This is ball one. Sites, a junior from Orland, California. That one misses ball two. So count goes two balls and no strikes. There's going to be a ball ripped hard and foul on the third base side. That goes way out of play. That'll take the count to two balls and one strike. Then we're tied at one apiece here. That's delivery. There's going to be a ball blooped into right field coming in, making the diving grab in right field for the Stars. That is Hale. That was a web gym right there. She had to get on the horse, makes the diving grab. It can also be catcher Maddie Romines. She's a senior from Oak Grove, Missouri. First pitch, there's going to be a ball hit hard into the gap. Coming over, making the grab in center field is Avery Throckmorton for out number two. This ball's traveling well. Throckmorton had to get on her horse to make the grab. Now this is center fielder in Riley Lund. She's a senior from Lee Summit, Missouri. Lund steps in. Left-handed batter. First offering to her, that one upstairs. It's ball one. So one will be heading the count of one and oh. There's going to be a ball. That one fouled off on the third base side. So that'll leave in the count at one ball and one strike. So one one count again, two outs on the board. There's going to be a ball fouled off on the third base side once again. That'll make the count one and two. We play here top of the second inning, 1-1 one, one ball game. One ball, two strikes. Two outs on the board. Pull the infield in just a bit. Next offering to her, that one's fouled back. So 
fix our camera here. That one pitched outside. So now we're full of three balls, two strikes. Apologize for that, but any balls that are fouled off will change the view. That one swung on and missed as throw is going to go into right field. However, off the bag. So I say runners lane interference, so Lunn is out. So she swung at a pitch in the dirt. And she's going to stay in the lane as she runs down to first. She did not, so that will end the inning. Three up and three down unconventional, but three up and three down nonetheless. We'll go to the bottom of the second inning as tied at one apiece. You're tuned in to exclusive broadcast coverage. Steven Starr Softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. At Centurion Cares, for more than three decades, their focus has been on exceeding customer expectations for contact center software solutions. Their innovative communication solutions include utility interactive voice response software that allows for smart communication features that let your utility deliver superior customer service 24-7. They also provide other streamlined services like automatic call distribution, automated customer callback, reporting, and quality assurance. To find out more about how Centurion Cares can help your business, Call them at 727-421-5300 or look them up online at centurioncares.com. Centurion Cares, innovative communication solutions. There's no better way to celebrate a special event or show someone just how important they are to you than gifting them something handcrafted from Country with a Heart. Handmade in mid-Missouri, Country with a Heart specializes in hand-built woodworking projects for every occasion. Their design collection includes children's furniture, doll furniture, household items, holiday decor, outdoor decorations, custom projects, and everything in between. To view their full inventory of projects, visit countrywithaheart.com and find them on Facebook by joining the Country with a Heart group page. There's going to be a well-hit ball to center field as that thing is going to go over the wall as center fielder Avery Throckmorton leads off with the first pitch over the center field wall. The 5'8 senior from right here in Columbia at Hickman High School will touch them all as she gives the 2-1 to one lead in favor of the Stars as she sends that one over. Center field fence now stepping in. This will be second baseman Elise Kendrick. Kendrick, a 5'7 sophomore from here at Columbia, played at Hickman. That pitch, that one's going to be low. Ball one. Next offering, there's going to be a ball sliced foul on the third base side. Leaving the count. So two balls and one strike. One run scored at each of the innings here for the Stars. That one's going to be fouled off, so that'll put Kendrick down in the count. So one ball and two strikes. Next offering from Kendrick. That one swung on and missed. That'll be out number one. So that's to be shortstop Mariah Thibodeau. Thibodeau, a 5'6 senior from Dell City, Oklahoma, played at Dell City High School. She steps in on the right hand side of the plate here. Her team leading two to one. First pitch. That one is going to be low. Ball one. Thibodeau steps back in. She is also a returner. As I said, many of these stars are. There's going to be a hard hit ball. That'll get to right field. She'll be on her way to first base throw. Not in time. It actually goes over the first baseman. Backed up by the catcher. So Thibodeau will be standing at first base with one out single. So we go to the top of the lineup. In first baseman, Annabelle Throckmorton. She had an infield single on her leadoff at bat. 
First pitch, she'll show bunt. She'll pull a fastball one. Throckmorton will be ahead in the count one ball. Sorry, I missed Taft. I got too far ahead of myself here. Let me reset here. There's going to be a bouncing ball. They say foul. Apologize to Taft. Got a little ahead of myself. She is batter number nine. Taft again starting in a pitcher. And she is a senior for the Stars. 1-1 one, one offering on its way. She'll show bunt. She'll foul it on the first base side. She'll be down one ball, two strikes. So one and two count. The first Stars softball game we've got on the air this season. Home opener, that one upstairs and outside. We're even at two balls, two strikes. Two two delivery on its way. That one outside, they'll throw to first. Back safely is Thibodeau. Thibodeau didn't get too far off the bag there. So now we're full of three balls, two strikes. Again, one out, one on. There's going to be a pitch swung on and missed for out number two. Two strikeouts in the game. And this will be Annabelle Throckmorton stepping in. She had a leadoff single to start the ball game. She also scored in that first inning, tied the ball game up at one apiece. Stars lead 2-1 to one currently. First offering to her. She's going to hit that one back to the pitcher. She'll glove, throw to first in time for out number three on the comebacker. So in the inning, the Stars do have one run on two hits. No errors. They left one of the base paths. We'll go to the third. Stars lead 2-1 to one as you're tuned in to exclusive broadcast coverage of Steven Stars Softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. The following public service announcement is brought to you by the Eddie Goodell Society. Jefferson City Chapter 10, doing little things to make a big difference. Want to make a big difference in your community? Be kind to others, drive safely, and put litter in its proper place. Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic Major League appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take the walk, Eddie! Since 2018, Han Custom Laser Engraving LLC has been specializing in all things custom, using large format, high powered lasers with some of the most advanced technologies on the market. Anything can become a canvas. The state of the art system makes quick work of custom engraving on cups, glass, tile, wood, acrylic, metal, headstones with endless possibilities. They also offer custom one of a kind signs that are sure to make your design stand out. Find them on Facebook at Han Custom Laser Engraving or call 573 489 8732 to find out more on custom laser engraving llc a veteran owned business well the stars able to put up one run on the scoreboard there they lead by a two to one margin as we'll go to the top of the lineup in one two and three in the batting lineup McConville, broussard and vincent taff looks the armband. Now she delivers home. There's going to be a ball sliced foul. So that'll put McConville down on the count at 0 and 1. So no balls, one strike. Next delivery. That would have been outside. That'll even the count at one ball, one strike. Wood trying to frame it there. One-one delivery. That pitch just a bit upstairs and outside. So count goes two balls and one strike. Taff again looks back in. Next offering, there's going to be a slow roller to short. Glove throw to first. A little low, but in time for out number one. Now this is Richard. She walked her last time up. 
Now Thibodeau to Rock Morton in the 6-3 put out. First pitch, there's going to be a ball lifted to left field. That one going back, that will be out of here. As for Shard, she sends that one deep. We're tied at two apiece. That ties the ball game up at two to two. That's the designated player, Emma Vincent, stepping in. She walked in her only at bat here on the day so far. But Taft gives up first home run and her start on the day. That one just missed a bit outside. Count will go one ball and no strikes. Vincent steps back in, next delivery. That one misses ball two. And we're tied at two to two here. Two runs on just one hit for the Stars. There's going to be a Ball popped up. That'll get down behind second base. It'll be a little bloop single. So Vincent will be standing at first base. So now it's to be third baseman, Chloe Sams. She was hit by a pitch her last time up. So she'll step in. Runner on first base. One out. And tie ball game. First offering from Taft. That one's going to hit her, so she's hit by a pitch again. Now this will be uh, Alyssa Reed, the first baseman. She popped out to third base her last time up. So Reed will step in, playing first base. Two on. There's going to be a ball popped high in the air. It'll stay on the infield. Thibodeau calls off, makes the grab for out number two. So Sams got hit by pitch. Goes to second. Or it's Vincent at second. Sams at first. Now it's his left fielder, Lexi Detweiler. She walked her last time up. First offering from Taft. That one's fouled off. So it'll make it 0-1. So no balls, one strike. Again, two outs, two on. That pitch just a bit outside and low. That'll make it a 1-1 one, one count. 1-1 one, one delivery from Taft. Upstairs, ball two. So that goes two balls and one strike. Two one delivery. That one misses ball three. So three balls and one strike to count. Again, two outs, two on. Tie ball game at two apiece. Top of the third we play. Next delivery on its way. There's going to be a ball sliced foul way out of play on the first base side. So now we're full. Three balls and two strikes. That one into the park over here off to my right. Big empty field. Indiana Park. That pitch, that one upstairs and outside, ball three, or ball four, rather. So Detweiler takes a walk. Everybody advances on the base path. This will be shortstop Haley Seitz. She popped into right field her last time up. That pitch, that one upstairs, ball one. So one ball, no strike count. called here is 
coach Ford Stars. Brett Olson goes out to talk to starting pitcher Grace Chad. We're here top of the third. Bases loaded again. Two outs on the board. 2-2 Two -two ball game. A little bit of past, eight minutes past 1.30 here on the Show Me Sports Network. Blake Gasaway here with you, bringing you exclusive broadcast coverage of Stephen Star Softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. We're glad that you're letting us entertain you here this afternoon. Don't forget, if you've not done so yet, if you are on our YouTube channel, we do ask that you click on that subscribe button. That'll help us out. That'll help you out as well. Find our broadcast a whole lot easier in the future. Plus, it'll help you find game two of the doubleheader here today. As soon as we go live, you'll be notified of that. So Sykes will step back in. 1-0 offering. Down central called strike one. So now we're even at one ball and one strike. One ball, one strike count. Taft looks back in. Next pitch. That one just a bit outside, trying to work the outside part of the plate. That makes it two and one. And two outs, bases loaded. Taft trying to work out of the jam once again. That's delivery. That one a bit upstairs. So now it's three balls and one strike. Romine's in the on-deck circle. Should Sykes reach base safely? There's going to be a ball. Hit hard. And foul. I lost that one. So it goes out of play. But we're full of three balls and two strikes. Taft looks in. Payoff pitch on its way. There's a ball that's hit hard but foul. That's way out of play. Goes out, way out of play on the third base side. Three two delivery. There's going to be a ball fouled off. So we're still full of three balls and two strikes. This upcoming pitch. This is the eighth pitch of this at bat. Sites will dig back in. Next delivery, there's going to be a ball lifted to left field. That'll be foul. So that will be uh, upcoming pitch number nine. So we're still full. So three and two, next delivery. That one inside, ball four. A run is walked in. So Vincent scores from third base. Sams goes to third base. Detweiler goes to second. The Sites goes to first. Now this is Maddie Romines. She popped out to center field in her only at bat here today. First offering on its way, outside, ball one. Good snag by Wood. So one ball, no strike count. Taft's next delivery, big swing and a miss. i will leaving the count at one ball, one strike. One one delivery. Big swing and a miss for strike two. Taft looking for her first ring up of the day. This is batter number eight. Go through the lineup here in this top of the third. So clock violation on the batter. Strike three called. 
So that will be out number three as that ends the inning. Two runs were put up to give SBU the 3-2 to two lead. We'll take a quick break and be right back as you're tuned in to exclusive broadcast coverage of Stephen Starr's softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Lab Sentinel Firearms is your federally licensed and registered Type 7 FFL manufacturer dealer in Missouri, providing quality products to all types of sports enthusiasts, law enforcement, and individuals across the nation. Orders are currently being fulfilled, offering custom-built pistols and rifles from the AR platform made right here in Missouri. Visit their website at labsentinelfirearms.com or call them at 417-684-7202 to find out what they've got for you. Lab Sentinel Firearms, you are your your last line of defense. Hi, I'm retired Army Sergeant Trent Dirks, and I want to tell you about an organization that saved and changed my life forever. Retrieving Freedom provides highly trained service dogs to veterans with disabilities and children with autism absolutely free of charge, thanks to the generous donations and support from people just like you. Experts from Retrieving Freedom help throughout the entire process from fostering programs through service dog placement. Retrieving Freedom gave me the skilled service dog Tracer, who has been my best friend and my lifeline. To find out more about how you can get involved volunteer, foster, or to donate, visit their website, retrievingfreedom.org. Retrieving Freedom, changing lives through the training and placement of service dogs for veterans with disabilities and children with autism. There we go to the bottom of the third. It'll be batters two, three, and four. Hood, Hale, and Smart are the three do up. Lindsey Hood, who had that bunt for a single, steps in. First pitch is low and outside. She'll be ahead in the count of one ball, no strikes. Next pitch. That one low as well. Ball two. Two balls, no strikes. A pitch. That one low and outside. Ball three. So Hood will be ahead in the count. Three balls, no strikes. Again, Stars trail three to two. That pitch, ball four. This will be right fielder Jillian Hale. She hit into a 3-1 out and her only at bat. So she steps in here. She'll step in with one on and nobody out. In the bottom of the third we play. So Hale will step in here. First pitch low and inside. Ball one. So one ball, no strike count. And Stars looking to answer back after they gave up a two spot at the bottom of the, sorry, the top of the third. They trail three to two now. They're looking to put up some numbers here in the bottom. That one in there, strike one. So that'll even the count. One ball, one strike. So one one delivery. That one swung on and missed for strike number two. So one and two count. Hale steps back in. That pitch, that one upstairs and outside, evens the count, two balls, two strikes. In that last inning, two runs, two hits. There's going to be a bouncing ball back to the pitcher. Turn to throw to second for one. And they say out there, no double play, able to be turned. Now it's to be Ivy Smart stepping in. So Smart steps in. As she hit into a sack the last time up. going to be a ball slice foul.
Smart down to the count 0-1. Next delivery, there's going to be a bouncing ball. Gloved it short, throw to second for one. Back to first, double play. So that will end the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on the base. We'll go to the fourth inning. It's a 3-2 to two score in favor of the Bearcats. We'll take a quick break and be right back. Tune in to exclusive broadcast coverage of Steven Starr's softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Creating custom, handcrafted woodworking projects has never been easier. Become a member of Sawdust Studios and enjoy 24-7 access to a woodworker's paradise. Outfit with industry-leading, professional-grade tools, Sawdust Studios offers endless woodworking possibilities. Don't have woodworking experience? No problem, as Sawdust Studios offers affordable classes from a community of woodworkers, experienced designers, and master craftsmen. Youth classes are also offered for those junior woodworkers. For more information, search Sawdust Studios on Facebook or find them online at Sawdust Studios. Sawdust247.com. Sawdust Studios, your community wood shop. In today's world, injury prevention is at the top of everyone's list. However, heat-related occurrences get routinely overlooked. Zealous WBGT puts that front and center. By using cutting-edge formulas and technology, Zealous WBGT streamlines and simplifies obtaining and documenting wet bulb globe temperature readings. With a simple touch of a button, you can check WBGT anywhere in the world, receiving alerts when the WBGT goes over the threshold you select. Join the stress-free way to protect student-athletes, employees, and overall operations from extreme heat by downloading the free Zealous WBGT app today. Save time, save money, save lives with Zealous WBGT. Hello, Blake Gasway here with the Show Me Sports Network. I've had the opportunity. play underway here already is first pitch. Rolling away. And when this is ball two, is this the batter's nine? One and two, two up. Lund stepping in as the Bearcats lead by a three to two score. Next pitch, one misses, ball three. So Lund ahead in the count. Three balls and no strikes as Taff enters her next inning to work here. That one called strike one. So count will go three and one. There's going to be a ball hit hard, but caught by Smart at third base for out number one. Now back to the top of the lineup. Right fielder Kate McConville. She is 0 for 2. She'll step in on the left-hand side of the plate. First pitch to her. Miss just a hair. Ball one. So one ball, no strike count. The top of the third we play. It's a three to two score. That one. She was able to check her swing but called strike one. So count even. One ball, one strike. Three runs on two hits, no airs, five left on the base bat. That one low and away. Ball two. Three runs, two hits, no airs, five left on the base path for SBU. Two runs on four hits, no airs, two left on the base path. Ball hit to right field going back, and that will bounce off the wall as it'll be a double for McConville as she blisters that one off the right field fence. She stands at second base with one out. Now this will be second baseman, Marco Broussard. She had a home run on the left field fence her last time up. First pitch, this is ball one. Next delivery on its way. That one in there, strike one. So now we're even at two balls, two strikes. So the Bearcats leading three to two. There's going to be a ball hit hard to center field. 
Going back, still going back. That'll be out of the park. As for Shard, goes Yard over the center field fence. As she has back-to-back -back home runs. As she drives in. Two RBIs on that. Conville scores from second base. So that'll make it a 5-2 to two score. And we're going to have a pitching change here. So we're going to take a quick break and get you set for the pitching change as you are tuned in to exclusive broadcast coverage of Stephen Star Softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. We are entrepreneurs, doctors, vets, and storytellers. We're business leaders, educators, and performers. We are scientists, nurses, and trendsetters. We break the mold and get it done. We are visionary, world-changing magic makers. We are Stevens College. Be yourself, be good at it. For more information, visit stevens.edu. Running out of some of your favorite Avon products and haven't seen an Avon brochure in quite some time? No need to worry. Avon Independent Sales Representative Michelle Carty can help with your skin so soft, makeup, jewelry, fragrance, and skin care needs. Avon now carries cleaning supplies, clothing, daily essentials, and several small LG electronic items. You now have the opportunity to shop online 24-7 and have your order shipped directly to your front door by shopping with Michelle at mcarty.avonrepresentative.com. Com or find her on Facebook by searching Avon Carty. A pitching change here for the Stars. As 5'7 senior pitcher Claire Pyle from Piedmont, Oklahoma, went to Piedmont High School. She is Enter the ball game here, top of the fourth. She inherits one out, 5 2 ball game. First pitch, that one outside to Sams. Third baseman, ball one. She is. And that is uh, Vincent, rather. Sams is two up. So Vincent, the pitching player, there's going to be a ball ripped hard, but foul on the third base side. So that'll even the count, one ball, one strike. Check that softball, say good to go. Two spots again put in the third and the fourth for SBU. Pyle looks in, next pitch. That one is going to hit her. So Vincent will be hit by a pitch. Now this is third baseman Chloe Sam. She's been hit by a pitch in her two at-bats here today. Sams will step in. One out on the board. Runner at first base. That's Vincent. First pitch, that one hit upstairs and outside. Ball one. One ball, no strike count. Next delivery. There's going to be a ball lifted to left field. That is gone. As that'll be two more runs as Sams gets hit by a pitch in her first two at bats and then yards that one over the left field fence. So she touches them all here. She drives in two runs. Now it's a 7-2 score in favor of the Bearcats. Now this will be Alyssa Reed, the first baseman. She's popped out to third, popped out to short. First pitch low and inside, ball one. Next 
delivery. That one. Well, they're going to say hit her. Now this is left fielder Lexi Detweiler. They say that pitch hit Reeves, so she'll go to first base. Again, one out on the board here. Four runs plated by the Bearcats. Detweiler steps in. There's going to be a ball. That one lifted into uh, left center field. That one's gone. Again, another two-run home run. That makes it a 9-2 to score as Detweiler sends that one out of the park. We've had three home runs in this inning so far. Both of them being two RBI home runs. Now this is Haley Sykes, a shortstop, stepping in. Still one out on the board. That one misses ball one. It's currently a six spot put up. By the Bearcats. Get one out. Left delivery. That one called strike one, so count even. And one ball, one strike. There's somebody warming up in the bullpen back there for the Stars. Can't see who it is. So one ball, one strike count, one out. Pyle looks in. Next delivery. That one low and inside. So count goes two balls, one strike. That one low. Ball three. Straight up two o'clock here on the Show Me Sports Network. Blood Gasaway here with you. Your exclusive coverage of Stephen Starr softball. 3-1 pitch. That one in there called strike two. Sykes had to be recalled back to the batter's box. She was headed down to first base. So we're full at three balls and two strikes. Next pitch. There's going to be a ball popped up. Coming in on it is Throck Morton. She will make the grab for out number two. Well, this will be catcher Maddie Romines. Struck out in her last at bat with a clock violation. Strike three. Popped out to center field as well in her bat before that. That one's going to hit her. So she is hit by a pitch. Now we go to the 10th batter of the frame here as center fielder Riley Lund stepping in. Lund steps in here her second time through. There's going to be a ball popped up. Coming in Throckmorton again. She'll make the grab for out number three. Well, in the inning, a whole lot of runs scored. Six were put up as that makes it a 9-2 to score in favor of the Bearcats. We'll take a quick break and be back. You're tuned in to exclusive broadcast coverage. Steven Star Softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer. You're a parent. You're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit vocojo.com. The Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. Buffs RV is your locally owned and operated RV dealership in Festus, Missouri. We've been in business since 1972, with several of our employees having over 30 years' experience each in the industry. We strive to put customer satisfaction first and foremost. 
Buffs RV has a well-stocked parts inventory with our main focus on our service department. Call us at 636-937-9183 or stop by and see us at 2085 US 67 in Festus. Whether you need advice, parts, or service, and everything in between, Buffs RV, where your adventure awaits. Well, the Stars have a deficit here they got to work out of. They trail by nine to two score, leading off Wood, Throckmorton, and Kendrick. First pitch, and they're called a strike one. One delivery on its way. There's going to be a ball, a little blue pit. That is going to get down into shallow center field. So Wood has a leadoff single. Now this will be center fielder Avery Throckmorton. She homered in her only at bat of the day so far. Good play here, bottom of the fourth inning. It is a 9-2 to two score in favor of the Stars. Sorry, Stars trailing, rather. That one misses ball one. Stars trailing by that 9-2 to two score. Next pitch. That one a little low. They throw to first. They say she's back safely. Wood able to dive back in there. Just about got picked off at first base. As Elmines just about threw her out of first base. That one, and they're called strike one. Again, Wood standing on first base after she bloops it. Into center field, count sits at one ball. That one misses. Evens the count, two balls, two strikes. Nobody out here. Bottom of the fourth we play. Next delivery. That one called strike. Throw to first base, not in time. So Brock Morton strikes out. This will be Kendrick, the second baseman. She struck out swinging her last time up. Only time she's spent a bat once here. Pitch, there's going to be a hard hit ball caught at third. They'll throw back to first. They say in time. Double play as Kendrick lines out, and that ends the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors. Nobody left on the base path. We will go to the fifth inning as the Stars trail by the 9-2 to score. As you're tuned in to exclusive broadcast coverage of season of Stars softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Seeking to express your unique style? How about healthier, clear skin? Look no further than Mary Kay. For more than 60 years, Mary Kay has been offering a wide range of high-quality makeup and skincare products that empower you to shine and stand out in any setting. From luscious lipsticks to vibrant eyeshadows, flawless foundations to glowing highlights, moisturizing serum to blemish and acne regimen, Mary Kay's got you covered. If you don't have a Mary Kay beauty consultant, then I've got you covered. To get your best skin, call me, Cassandra Gasway, today at 417. 684-2667 or visit online at marykay.com slash Cassandra Gasway. Since 1951, Wren's Automotive has been the leader in complete automotive and tire services. Proudly serving the Ashland community and southern Boone County area. Servicing all makes and models of vehicles, customer satisfaction is their top priority. If your vehicle leaves you stranded, no need to worry, as Wren's Automotive offers 24-hour towing services. To schedule an appointment, call 573-657-4614 or stop by and see Terry, Peggy, Derek, and the crew at 124 East Broadway in Ashland. Wren's Automotive, your full-service automotive repair shop for over 70 years. We will go to the top of the lineup in 1, 2, and 3. McConville, Broussard, and Vincent are the three due up. They sent 10 batters through the inning. Last spring. First pitch from Pyle, that one down and outside, ball one. A few minutes past... 2 o'clock here on the Show Me Sports Network. Blake Gasway here with you. Don't forget, if you're watching on our YouTube channel, please click on that subscribe button. That'll help us out, help you find the broadcast in the future. That pitch, that one down central. As that evens the count at one ball, one strike. So 
one one delivery and pile now a just a bit outside the count goes two balls and one strike three one delivery there's going to be a bouncing ball that will be gloved and second underhand throw to first they say in time as Kendrick had to make the diving play. Kendrick able to flip to first for out number one. Now this is second baseman, Marco Broussard. He's had two home runs in the ball game. First pitch to her. Inside ball one. A 9-2 score in favor of the Bearcats. 1-0 delivery. There's going to be a ball popped up. It is foul on the first base side. Coming over. Able to make the grab. Is Kendrick as it pops out of her glove, but she's able to catch it the second time. That will also be designated player in Emma Vincent stepping in. She was hit by a pitcher last time up, had a single before that, walked in her first at bat. Miles' first delivery. There's going to be a ball popped up as that is going to go into the bleachers. On the third base side. One of those came a couple years ago and took out the computer for the Stars on their stream on the Team One Sports stream. Miles delivery. There's going to be a ball that's lifted into right field. Trying to make the diving grab was Hale, but they say a foul ball. She laid out for it, but could not get the glove on it. It is just foul. That'll put Vincent down in the count at 0 and 2. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Nobody on. Hale needing a minute to gather herself. She lays out for that foul ball. She says she's okay. Kyle looks in. 0 2 delivery. That one's upstairs. Make it to an 0-2 count. Miles delivery. There's going to be a ball. That one fouled off. Again, two outs on the board here. It's a 9-2 score. Vincent leading. Is that what you had? That's not what I had. It's a one-two count. There's going to be a ball that's blistered right back into center field, and we'll get down as Pyle threw the glove up but could not get it. As Vincent has a two-ounce single. And now this will be Sam's, the third baseman. She had a two-run home run her last time up. That Jansen ball doesn't matter. That one snagged out of the air way outside ball one. Wood doing a nice job to snag that way out on the far side. One ball, no strike count. 1 0 delivery. That one's going to hit her, so. Sam's is hit for the third time today. Now this will be Alyssa Reed, the first baseman. She was hit by a pitch her last time up. Again, 
nine to two score in favor of Southwest Baptist. Runner at first and second. Look to offer to Reed. Way outside, that'll get to the backstop. Everybody will advance around the base path. The runners in the scoring position at second and third now. Vincent at third, Sam's at second. Reed has a 1-0 count. Pitch goes out and stalks pile here. Delivery, that one a little upstairs and outside. Ball two. That makes it two balls, no strikes. And two outs with two runners on here. Kyle looks back in, next pitch. There's going to be a ball. That's lifted to center field. That will score. Two, one run. Should have scored two, but will score one as Sam stopped at third base. So Reed... It's an RBI single. So this will be left fielder Lexi Detweiler. So now it's a 10 to two ball game. First pitch to Detweiler, outside ball one. So runners on the corners at first and third. I will look at the pitch call. Good look home. Next offering, that one's going to be sliced foul and out of play. So that'll leave in the count of one ball, one strike. So it's a 10 to 2 ball game here in favor of the Bearcats. That next pitch, that one misses, ball two. Two balls, one strike. And two outs on the board, runners at the corners. Kyle looks back in. Bend at the waist. Next offering. There's going to be a ball. Cue balled up. Going back is Thibodeau coming in, making the grab, just about dropped it. But good recovery is Avery Throckmorton for out number three as it popped out of the glove, but she was able to catch it a second time. That'll take us. We'll go to the bottom of the fifth. It's 10 to 2. You're tuned in to exclusive broadcast coverage of Steven Star Softball here on the Show Me Sports Network. At Centurion Cares, for more than three decades, their focus has been on exceeding customer expectations for contact center software solutions. Their innovative communication solutions include utility interactive voice response software that allows for smart communication features that let your utility deliver superior customer service 24-7. They also provide other streamlined services like automatic call distribution, automated customer callback, reporting, and quality assurance. To find out more about how Centurion Cares can help your business, call them at 727 421 5300 or look them up online at centurioncares.com centurion cares innovative communication solutions there's no better way to celebrate a special event or show someone just how important they are to you than gifting them something handcrafted from Country with a Heart. Handmade in mid-Missouri, Country with a Heart specializes in hand-built woodworking projects for every occasion. Their design collection includes children's furniture, doll furniture, household items, holiday decor, outdoor decorations, custom projects, and everything in between. To view their full inventory of projects, visit countrywithaheart.com and find them on Facebook by joining the Country with a Heart group page. Oh, the Stars come to bat trailing by eight now as Thibodeau lead things off. Batters eight, nine, and one. First pitch. This is ball one. Thibodeau will be ahead in the count of one and zero. Oh. Thibodeau had a single her last time up. Only a bat she's had. That one's going to be inside off the catcher. Ball two. Thibodeau looking for a two for two day. It's been a one for one day so far. Two zero delivery, a little high and tight. Ball three. So 
Three balls, no strikes. Next delivery. That one called strike one. Three and one the count. Next pitch. That one upstairs, ball four. Lead off walk issued to Thibodeau. Now this is Clara Pyle. Came in as a relief pitcher. Assuming the nine spot in the lineup. And Annabelle Throckmorton drew up after her. There's going to be a hard hit ball. The flip to second for one. Back to first for the double play. Double play. Ends. Base running there. So now stepping in is first base and Annabelle Throckmorton. She's had a single. Also hit into one three out. First pitch to her. Little outside ball one. Try to did not wear a batting glove today. Normally she just wears one. That one low and away. Ball two. At least from her previous season, she tends to wear just one. Two balls, no strikes. Again, two outs on the board. Next delivery, she's going to slice that one to third. It'll be gloved, throw to first. That's way off line. She'll turn and round on to second, as she will be there with two outs. Now it's to be left fielder Lindsey Hood. So Lindsey Hood steps in here as a runner at second base. First pitch to Hood. She'll take that one. Ball one as it was low. Hood walked her last time up, had a bunt single in the first. And no delivery, there's going to be a ball lifted to left field. Left fielder going back. She'll make the grab for out number three in the inning. No runs, one hit, one air, one left on the base path. The Stars trail by a 10 to 2 score here as we end the fifth inning. But we'll wrap it up for game one. In a 10 to 2 margin. So we're trying to finish up in scorebook here as hopefully here in a post game show we should be joined by head coach and Clint Polson he will make his way up here at some point to talk to us we're going to take a quick break and be right back as you are tuned in to exclusive broadcast coverage of Stephen Star softball here on the show me sports network the following public service announcement is brought to you by the Eddie Goodell Society Jefferson City Chapter 10 doing little things to make a big difference Want to make a big difference in your community? Be kind to others, drive safely, and put litter in its proper place. Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic Major League appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take the walk, Eddie! Since 2018, Han Custom Laser Engraving LLC has been specializing in all things custom, using large format, high powered lasers. With some of the most advanced technologies on the market, anything can become a canvas. The state of the art system makes quick work of custom engraving on cups, glass, tile, wood, acrylic, metal, headstones with endless possibilities. They also offer custom one of a kind signs that are sure to make your design stand out. Find them on Facebook at Han Custom Laser Engraving or call 573 489 8732 to 
find out more on Custom Laser Engraving, LLC, a veteran-owned business. Lab Sentinel Firearms is your federally licensed and registered Type 7 FFL manufacturer dealer in Missouri, providing quality products to all types of sports enthusiasts, law enforcement, and individuals across the nation. Orders are currently being fulfilled offering custom-built pistols and rifles from the AR platform made right here in Missouri. Visit their website at labsentinelfirearms.com or call them at 417-684-7202 to find out what they've got for you. Lab Sentinel Firearms, you are your Last line of defense. Hi, I'm retired Army Sergeant Trent Dirks, and I want to tell you about an organization that saved and changed my life forever. Retrieving Freedom provides highly trained service dogs to veterans with disabilities and children with autism absolutely free of charge, thanks to the generous donations and support from people just like you. Experts from Retrieving Freedom help throughout the entire process from fostering programs through service dog placement. Retrieving Freedom gave me the skilled service dog Tracer, who has been my best friend and my lifeline. To find out more about how you can get involved, volunteer, foster, or to donate, visit their website, retrievingfreedom.org. Retrieving Freedom, changing lives through the training and placement of service dogs for veterans with disabilities and children with autism. Creating custom, handcrafted woodworking projects has never been easier. Become a member of Sawdust Studios and enjoy 24-7 access to a woodworker's paradise. Outfit with industry-leading, professional-grade tools, Sawdust Studios offers endless woodworking possibilities. Don't have woodworking experience? No problem, as Sawdust Studios offers affordable classes from a community of woodworkers, experienced designers, and master craftsmen. Youth classes are also offered for those junior woodworkers. For more information, search Sawdust Studios on Facebook or find them online at Sawdust. 247.com Sawdust Studios, your community wood shop. In today's world, injury prevention is at the top of everyone's list. However, heat-related occurrences get routinely overlooked. Zealous WBGT puts that front and center. By using cutting-edge formulas and technology, Zealous WBGT streamlines and simplifies obtaining and documenting wet bulb globe temperature readings. With a simple touch of a button, you can check WBGT anywhere in the world, receiving alerts when the WBGT goes over the threshold you select. Join the stress-free way to protect student-athletes, employees, and overall operations from extreme heat by downloading the free Zealous WBGT app today. Save time, save money, save lives with Zealous WBGT. Hello, Blake Gasway here with the Show Me Sports Network. I've had the opportunity to have some amazing calls, including overtime touchdowns, walk-off home runs, and buzzer-beating baskets. But I've answered another call. That's to serve my community as a volunteer firefighter. Stop and think what would happen if your home or property caught fire and no one was there to put it out. Every day, volunteer firefighters not only save lives and property, but also respond to other emergencies. Nearly two-thirds of our nation's fire departments are manned by volunteer firefighters. And because of this, we simply need need more volunteers to step up and answer the call. Stop by or contact your local fire department and see how you can become a volunteer firefighter today. I answered the call to serve my community. Will you? Well, the Stars drop game one here of doubleheader action with the Southwest Baptist University Bearcats. I attended to score. That drops their record to 0-6 on their season. For the Bearcats, they moved to 3-4 and four overall. Their team began early, early in their season as this is the home opener for the Stars. They had the first five games all on the road, and several of them were not anywhere close. They made their way on the road to a couple of different places. And played there is waiting for head coach Clint Olsen to come over and chat with me. I see him headed this way, so I think he's headed up here as we'll take a quick break and be back to talk with head coach for the Stevens Stars. This is brought to you by Renz Automotive. Since 1951, Renz Automotive has been the leader in complete automotive and tire services. Proudly serving the Ashland community and southern Boone County area. Servicing all makes and models of vehicles, customer satisfaction is their top priority. If your vehicle leaves you stranded, no need to worry, as Renz Automotive offers 24-hour towing services. To schedule an appointment, call 573-657-4614 or stop by and see Terry, Peggy, Derek, and the crew at 124 East Broadway in Ashland. Renz Automotive, your full-service automotive repair shop for over 70 years. Well, it was mistaken. He actually got sidetracked on the way up here, so don't know if he'll make it up to us, but that'll give us a chance to look at the uh, finals here for Game 1 of the doubleheader as for Southwest Baptist University, 
They pushed out those 10 runs. They did so on eight hits. They had one error, and they left a total of seven on the base path for the Stars. Two runs on five hits, no errors, and they left three on the base path as these two teams will match up for game two here in just about uh, 10 minutes or so, uh, 15 minutes actually, somewhere in the ballpark. So we're going to take about a 10-minute break as that's a look at your totals for the ball game brought to you by Renz Automotive. That'll do it for our broadcast here for game one as we're going to take about a 10-minute break or so and then be back and get you set for game two. As it's been my pleasure, like Gasaway here with you, it's been my pleasure bringing you broadcast coverage of the first of two games here for the Steven Stars as again, we'll take about a 10-minute uh, break or so. Don't forget, if you've not done so, if you're on our YouTube channel, be sure and click on that subscribe button. That'll help us out. That'll help you find the broadcast in the future as well. But like we said, we have game two coming up here in just about, uh, right about 10 minutes or so as uh, we're going to close out of this broadcast. So for the Show Me Sports Network, I'm Blake Gasaway. Until we talk to you in about 10 minutes, so long and have a great rest of your afternoon. more around the world this is the show me sports network the preceding was an exclusive broadcast property presentation of the show me sports network and was a high fidelity all digital broadcast this broadcast is copyright by the show me sports network for the private use of our audience any other use of this broadcast without the show me sports network's written consent is prohibited